What is going on mobile creators? Today we will be reviewing the Zion Smooth 5S that I'm holding right now and I'm using the iPhone 14 Pro and we're gonna capture some beautiful shots with it. Currently I'm at Zealp Se here in Switzerland uh, with George of course, he's gonna help me out. I'm actually gonna make a video so that you guys know who he is. He's sitting on his <laughs> chair while shooting this video. So big thanks to him as well for helping out in this video. It's a little bit cloudy and also windy, but we can definitely get some moody shots. Now I know some of you might think, do you even need a gimbal? Uh, even though the iPhone 14 Pro has action mode, which enhances the stabilization, you'll still be needing a gimbal because for complex moving shots, it won't be enough just using action mode. And action mode also has its downsides as you will also need a lot of light in order to capture high quality action mode footage. Also, you can only record up to 2.8K. With that said, we will be looking at the Smooth 5S. I'll be testing it out, give you a real world example and also show you the footages uh, using the ZY Cami app that is compatible with this gimbal and also show you how I mount it and some of the features I like about this gimbal. So I'm quite excited to make this video and have you guys along with me. So with that said, let's get started. Now, first of all, the design of this gimbal is really nice. I like the white new design and I like how all motors uh, can be locked. As you can see here to the side, there's also a zoom and focus wheel, a large one, which allows you to precisely zoom using the ZY Cami app. You also have different buttons uh, that you can use. You can switch modes by just pressing the mode button and you have a small display up here that indicates which mode you're in. You also have a, a record shutter button, which you can use either with the ZY Cami app, but also with the default camera app on your iPhone, as well as Filmic Pro. Then you have also the power on and off button. And over here you have a one quarter uh, thread which you can mount additional accessories. And also I have a mini tripod down here, uh, which is useful, you know, uh, if you wanna place it on a flat surface or record a time-lapse, which is really nice. It feels really solid, well-built, doesn't feel cheap at all. What I also like is that you're able to charge your smartphone uh, using this USB-C port right here, which is always very useful, especially when you're shooting for long hours. And over here, you can also see that there is a built-in LED light, which is really nice and can get really bright. Now, what I really like is that you can easily unlock all three motors and mount your iPhone on it. So to simply unlock the uh, pan motor, I can just press this button over here, and then I can just push this part to unlock the roll motor and push this part to unlock the tilt motor. So then you also have a spring clamp. So if I wanna shoot in portrait mode, I leave it this way, but I can actually also shoot in landscape mode by just turning this part. And then I can just simply mount my phone on it like so, really fast and simple. And then to balance your phone, you'll have to place your gimbal on a flat surface. It's not a perfect flat surface, but we can work with it. And then I can just unlock the screw over here and just I slide it so that it doesn't fall on one of the sides. Press the power button here on the side. And when I move the gimbal, it, you can see that it actually follows my hand movement. I currently have it in pan follow and it feels really good. It responds well. Could also use it with third party lenses because the motors are actually really strong. Let's uh, now test this gimbal out and get some awesome footage. So right now I've set it to pan follow, which uh, locks the tilt motor and allows me to uh, create smooth uh, pans. For the highest quality possible, I'll be shooting in 4K and to slow down my footage, I'll choose 60 frames per second. What I like to do is that I actually just create a nice slide shot, easily slide from right to left. So I've now set it to lock mode, which locks all three motors. As you can see, it just keeps the focus point fixed and I can use the joystick to actually adjust the framing. I'm gonna create a sort of jib shot, starting very low and then moving my body upwards while I'm in lock mode. This way I can prevent, you know, the camera from moving when I create this shot. This looks really nice.
Now the next shooting mode is the follow mode, which I use most often because it only locks the roll motor, but gives me the freedom to uh, pan or tilt the camera. And for that, I like to use it when I create a rotation shot, for example, of George, where I orbit around him, which really looks dynamic. And also for other shots, if I want to maybe reveal a location, I can also start by tilting down and uh, pushing up slowly revealing the location and there are really many ways you can create gimbal moves using the follow mode that's why i use it i would say 90 percent of the time now in order to recenter your gimbal just double press on the trigger button and it will do so so another creative shot you can get uh, with the smooth 5s is by getting low to the ground with your camera and you can do that by flipping the gimbal uh, upside down slowly and as you can see you can get really low to the ground while holding onto the mini tripod and then creating a push forward shot, uh, which will look really dynamic in your video. So I think this is a great spot to capture a time-lapse as we're high up this hill and we have a nice view of the mountain and the lake and I'm probably gonna point the camera more up towards the sky as we have some clouds moving. So I'm actually gonna place um, the gimbal over here. And as you can see, the great part about having this mini tripod is that you can really place it on a flat surface. And then I'm actually gonna set my composition. As you can see, I have the rule of thirds enabled. I'm actually gonna tilt it up so that I have more of the sky. Can capture time-lapse with uh, the gimbal if it's not too windy. Um, it is a little bit windy outside right now, so there could be some shakes uh, inside the video, but I think I can further stabilize it in post. So once I have that, I've set the resolution and frame rate to 4K, 25 frames per second. And then I make sure to tap hold uh, on the screen to lock my focus and exposure. Now, one of the coolest modes is a vortex. So when I switch to vortex, you'll see that the camera tilts upwards. And this allows me to hold the gimbal this way and use the joystick to rotate the camera, creating a sort of inception effect. And I'm actually gonna use this uh, fence uh, to actually uh, push out of it to add more dynamic in my shot. And I'm gonna use the house as my focal point. And then I'm gonna start recording and then I'm gonna push back while the camera rotates. I'm gonna keep it sh centered all the time and move backwards. So this is, looks really awesome. Now there's another feature called go mode. So by press and holding the trigger button, you'll see that the motors react more sensitive to my hand movement, which can be great if you're shooting action type scenes. So as you can see, as I pan left and right, it reacts pretty quickly compared to when I let the trigger button go. You'll see that it's way smoother. Now, if you're someone who likes to vlog, you can actually press the trigger button three times and it will actually turn. Uh, and I can use the rear camera this way to film myself. And also with the built-in LED light, I could also film in a dark environments, which is really great. So that is also a useful function uh, to have uh, when using this gimbal. Now guys, if you wanna learn more, head over to smartphonefilmmaking.com, which is my online course where you can learn how to shoot professionally on your smartphone. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I wanna thank George for helping me out. I hope you got a lot out of it and make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions. Also like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any further content. Oh, and something else I forgot, if you're new to smartphone filmmaking, make sure to download my free smartphone filmmaking guide that will help you get started filming quality videos on your smartphone. The link will be in the description below. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. Take care and I will see you. I will see you.